friend of ours, Francis, she used to think about this thing called divine providence, and she'd go, oh yeah, Jesus, the apostles, divine providence, Saint Francis, Mother Teresa. You, know, you think of it in terms of characters having a life of faith, where they just live trusting God with everything. But then, at one point, she started to realize, wait a minute, that's, that's still too small. Because if it's a dream, and I am under no laws but God's, and we're all connected, it must actually be that we're all living in divine providence. Whether we're aware of it or not, we may have convinced ourselves that there's things called jobs and governments. You know, we may have be having this hallucination where we we put it out. We say, well, you know, I'm, I'm living on, on my work and my job and my career. You know, we, we convince ourselves of this, but it can't be that there's a few special people throughout history <laughs> that were living in the, off of the mana from heaven and trillions and trillions of others who are struggling <laughs> to make ends meet. You know, it just, it doesn't seem right if, if, I'm, if the laws of love are real, if the laws of abundance and, and, and care and support are truly from God, then they must be, they're equally available to everything and everyone. So that's where we get into this thing, when you start to undo the self-concept, you start to have experiences of things showing up in your dream, on your dreamscape, but not always predictable. Things start, oh wow, that's nice. Well, that just got taken care of. Well, that was really simple. You know, we have those little glimmers of, Ooh, that was so simple. I wish, I wish it could always be, we find ourselves saying, I wish it could always be that simple. And ultimately, that's what A Course in Miracles is about. Miracles are natural, Jesus says. When they do not occur, something has gone wrong. That we should expect daily miracles. That we are not only asked to study the Course, but we're asked to give ourselves over to it so fully that we experience natural miracles, natural daily miracles. So many miracles that we can't even delineate where, where one ends and the next one begins. You can see where that would take you into a joyful state of mind, where you start to get saturated with miracles. And you're so saturated that you can't make a distinction where one begins and where one ends. You see, that's part of this convincing job. The Holy Spirit has to convince us, has to take us inward into a state of mind where we can recognize the Christ. That this baby Christ child is is in us. It's still there. It all it needs is recognition. But we do have to surrender and have a lot of this other stuff washed away.